We're thrilled to announce that Angel Wellness Retreat in Tutil Ongar, Essex is sponsoring the Your Sincerely Pod. Well known for the Angel of Water, dignified colonic irrigation system, the sumptuous Japanese head spa, among so many more incredible treatments or maybe choose a wellness spa day package. Its sister company, the Angel Clinic, also has a doctor and nurse-led aesthetic clinics. Visit Angel Wellness Retreat with ample free parking and experienced staff ready to welcome you to dive into a luxurious world of health, wellness and beauty. Check them out on Instagram at Angel Wellness Retreat. Hey guys and welcome back to this episode of Yours Sincerely with me, Lauren Goodman. Me, Lisa Andrews. And we've got our guest back. <laughs> we've locked her oh. in the cupboard under the stairs and didn't let her go. It's Lady Nadia Essex. Glutton for punishment, <laughs> darling. Yeah, we didn't let her go, no. Yeah. <laughs> She's back. Yeah. So I think today in this episode we're going to be talking about uh, men with power. And what was the other thing we wanted to touch on? Um, uh, what was the other day? Oh, God. Oh. Oh, and... We've got, no, we've got a really big surprise today. We have. Nadia oh, yeah. is in for a treat. I don't know what this is, by the well, way. Basically, well, basically... Neither did Lisa, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's all about me. No, basically, sometimes you have to prove that you're telling the truth. Which, as sad as it is, it's annoying, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so do you want to whip him out? I've got one each for you both. What is it? So it's a Dear John. And it's one for you, Nadia, and it's one for you, Lauren. Oh, thank you. Can you open it up? I just would like to say before we go any further, yeah. for all of you that messaged me and my son constantly that you weren't wanted and you were a one-night stand and da-da-da-da-da... You're sincerely going at your words. Yes. So this... <laughs> Who is what that is addressed this? to? This, this is l- what looks like Lisa Ben. Who wrote that? That's Nigel. Is this his handwriting? That's his handwriting. He's actually not got bad handwriting for a bloke. Very nice handwriting. It's the only thing I'll say nice about you, Nigel. Oh. <laughs> but why is he calling you? But why is he calling you Lisa Ben? I don't know, but I think it's a bit forward for a one night stand. Do you? <laughs> bit sounds, premature. Sounds beautiful. Sounds like it was more than a one night stand. Well, okay, well, I've got one that says, Thursday, the 17th of September. Hi, Lisa. Well, as this letter... Which letter was first? I don't know. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> How many has he ever given you, Jesus? Okay, shall I, I do feel mine? feel like... And... Sorry. Oh, you know, do you remember... Do you ever watch Friends? Yes. Do you remember when Ross treated on Rachel and she wrote him a, pay, a letter <laughs> and he was yes. like, 17 pages, front and back, and he fell asleep reading it? <laughs> had rambled on for 18 pages. <laughs> Front and back! I oh, know, I'm like, which I know. And, and on, and on. And on. And distinction. And now I've marked up the pages, sorry. Right, go, sorry. Right, so Thursday, 17th of September. Hi, Lisa. Well, as this letter leaves me, everything is just fine. I know we have had a bad start to the week, but I will try my damn hardest, by the way, damn in exclamation marks, even though it's in the middle of a sentence, (laughs) grammatically not correct. My damn hardest to put it right, Lisa, the things I said to... Julia. Who the fuck is Julia? My sister. Oh, okay. I don't think I've really heard you speak about your sister. (laughs) I had one. Sorry. I've heard you talk about yours. (laughs) (laughs) Not recently, you haven't. (laughs) Those who shall not be named. Um, I didn't mean to say in the way they came out. I understand how Julia feels about you, but I really do love you with all of my heart. It ain't easy for the both of us. Got that right. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Lisa, I just can't see myself without you anymore. You really are a part of my life and I don't ever want to lose that feeling I have for you. You really are my this special to me. Oh, does that say... What does that say? Lise. Lise, I, I know I ain't. It looks like um, the C-U-N-T word. I know, that's why I was like, paused. Lise, I know I ain't... 
Mr. Perfect, but I can give you 100% love. I really am deeply in love. Capital letters underlined with you. And I think you know that anyway. Lisa, I know I should have been with you when you was pregnant and I really am sorry for not giving you that support with one P, Nigel. Um, but I didn't know how to approach you because I didn't want to go on about it. But don't ever doubt my love for you, Lisa. Sorry, guys, if I'm stuttering like a three-year-old. His handwriting is hard to read as much as it's nice. Lisa, every day that goes by, I think what a lovely girlfriend. Girlfriend? <laughs> what well, that one nice stand went quick. Mm. Um, what a lovely girlfriend I have. But I always got that feeling you will just end it. Oh, that, that, oh, we're going to get into that, aren't we, Nards? I am really besotted with you, and the feelings are just getting stronger and stronger. There's a lot of things I won't... I want. Say, I want, sorry, you know it off my heart, I can yeah. imagine. It's 20 years old. <laughs> 27. <laughs> On this tea-bagged paper. There's a lot of things I want to say <laughs> to do with you. You make me laugh. And cry, but above all, I love you for who you are. You're a breath of fresh air. Anyway, Lisa, I won't carry on. Yeah, bore you. Carry on anymore because I know you are about to throw up over this letter. But let me tell you, there ain't no bullshit in here. I will love you always, Lisa. Take care. Love you always. Oh, well, what's that word before it? Or is that love? Love you, you always, always, Nigel. Wow. Now, first of all, before we get into your letter... I was always scared that you were going to end it. It stood out to me like a sore thumb. Did it stand out to you? Well. It just screams insecure. Yeah. Like, why is he so worried that you're going to end it? One, if you're a one night stand, and two. Yeah, end what? End what? End yeah. the one night stand. Yeah. yeah. That ended, didn't Doesn't it, after that sense. night? No, end the sex. <laughs> I'm really scared to can I end this. Yeah. Right. Like, well, it's a girlfriend in it, so I think. Yeah, exactly. oh, let's hear the next one. Okay, I'm not as good a reader as you because I can't read this for Toffee. You want... It goes backwards as well. Yeah, which is very strange. Um, oh, hello, Vinci Lisa. Code. Well, as this letter leaves me... Again, is that the same? Yeah. He, no, that he, one... He, it's very Shakespearean, isn't it? I can imagine, like, music with a, with a quill. <laughs> <Quilt. laughs> is he that old? Oh, darling, Lisa. <laughs> as this letter leaves me... <laughs> <laughs> everything is really up in the air. See, the last time it, it was, was everything is fine. So this is the next one. It really is up in the air. How the tone changes. It see, could be seems, if I don't know if I am coming or going. Again, it's your fault, by the way. Have <laughs> you noticed that? Yeah. yeah. Lisa, think you don't know how much you really do something you. The 18 months we have had together have really been something special <laughs> Fuck off, and Nadia. you just don't want to take it away i'm assuming lisa <laughs> my love for you is real <laughs> underlined is it with quotation marks yes, I, was I don't take our relationship as a joke Relationship. Mm -mm. Big, relationship. Using the big boy words there, Nigel. Sometimes I wish my relationship with you wasn't so hard. Because I know we both love each other. And I know you want more. And at this present time, it is so difficult to do. But that doesn't mean that it has to end between me and you. Typical man. He wants to have his yeah. cake and to eat it. Yeah. Can't give you what you want, but this doesn't have to end. Yeah. The sex doesn't have to yeah, end. Yeah, we don't have to we end. We don't have to end, but I can't give you what you want. Okay. Lisa, what we have is something very, very, in quote marks, special. I know we are in a 22... Catch. Catch situation. <laughs> Catch twenty two. <laughs> okay. Moving on. <laughs> That's that the problem is is I think when you've been punched in the head, like it does make sense. <laughs> you know? Like he's been punched in the head he a lot. Hadn't been so much then. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um 
but believe something will happen and a breakup ain't the answer, Lisa. No. Everything... <laughs> bear with. Everything about you... <laughs> love... I love... Including your family... I thought you were going to say you're fanny. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know what I'm reading. I've never read this before, so bear with. I don't doubt that he didn't love that either. And I just don't want to let it go. Uh, duh! Thinking of with his penis. Because you know I will never find a family like it again. Ever! Underlined in quotation marks. Is it, is it capitals again? Mm-hmm. Lisa... I know there are a million men who would love to marry you very much. And that is why I am so scared. <laughs> Shed a tear, Nigel. <laughs> but I really believe I will end up with you being very happy. And about the baby, question mark, Dun, dun, dun. Well, we have two choices. He spelled it T O B, assuming he means two as in the number. Keep it or get terminate. Well, it says get rid of, and then it's crossed out and says, I don't think it says terminate, it's more like terminate. So, was this your pregnancy with Harley? No, this was before Harley. Okay, and what happened, if you don't mind? Um, no, that's okay. I had a termination because I just didn't think the time was right. There were too many obstacles and it just wasn't didn't feel right. So then he's gotten you pregnant again. He's chosen to get you pregnant again. Mm. And then... And then moaned about it. It says, and you, just going back, so, um, and about the baby, well, we have two choices, keep it or terminate. And you know if you terminate, if that will be a nail in my coffin. Oh, how interesting. Go on, let me hear this. But hang on a second. So he's saying in this letter he doesn't want you to have a termination. That's right. And then this is even after. So then you have Harley and then he's fucked off anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cheeky bastard. And, but also he's now guilt tripping into it because he's saying that if you do terminate, it'll be a nail in my coffin and that it will take a bit of time. But it will eventually happen. What will happen? It will... Do they Just do riddles happened. on purpose so that you're left... This is what I found. The riddles made me constantly question where the fuck I was and what the fuck I was doing. What he means there is it will take a bit of time for us to get and be together properly. Okay. Yeah, but that's what uh, I'm but saying. But that's a riddle. Maybe that is a riddle. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Oh, that it's a riddle. It's a fucking yeah. riddle. Yeah. And they do it, I swear, to confuse you so that you're left there in a state of confusion. Like Because I'm reading it in a state of confusion. Maybe. Yeah. And then you're always second guessing. Mm. Yeah, literally. It, would, it, will, it will just happen with us. Something about it. We won't have to force it. No. Without... It will just happen without us having, having no, without us thinking about, thinking about, it. about it. Lisa. <laughs> Lisa, I am begging, underscore, with quotation marks. But you're the beg. You not to get rid of it, because we will be together one day. Because you really do make me happy, and one day, we should have read this before, and one day you will make me happy for the rest of my life. When we go out, we always have a great laugh. Even when we stay in, we have a laugh. And then in brackets, watching... Bungee jumping. Bungee jumping. <laughs> it's a private jump. Okay, clearly. Please don't throw away what we have, because once that happens, it will be hard for you to get it back. Hard for you? Underlined. Wait, hard for who? You. At least to get it back. So let's keep it, Lisa, darling. It will happen. One day, I promise you. Love you more than words can say, Nigel. What an absolute cockwomble. <laughs> what a load of old shit. What a load of old shit. What a load of old crock of shit. I don't even want to touch it. No, I just me. want to touch on that. <clears throat> I think that clarifies that I wasn't a one night stand. And I also think all of you trolls that keep saying my son wasn't wanted, mm. and why does he use a Ben name and blah, blah, blah. 
my son was wanted and he is meant to be here over and out. Well, I think that is the thing. Like they don't, people don't know the situation and circumstances. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. But also, what an absolute shit show that the men let it get to that stage. Like, could you not be more, like, Nigel obviously knows that he wrote those letters mm -hmm. because he wrote them. Mm -hmm. The fact that he has painted you out to be this person knowing that you have letters that say shit like that, it's like, are they, are they, where do men go? get such privilege. No, I think they believe their own story, their own version. Clearly, because... So let me just stroke you. Because it is a privilege for a, a, multiple men to behave one way, mm -hmm. act another way, mm -hmm. and then pretend to the world it's one a completely different way. Absolutely. Luckily, you've got both of you have got receipts and plenty yeah. of them. But plenty what on earth of them. is going on? <laughs> I'd be so embarrassed if I was him. It's going on in the world. But what's worse is, hers is still going on 27 years later, but that for me is like, what that? Because the thing is, when you have a child with someone or children or whatever, they are always a part of your life, whether you like it or not, yeah. in whatever capacity. Mm -hmm. Which is why, again, my goes back to you, you just have to like it. Mm -hmm. There's no not option. There is no like it or not. You've got to like it. You've got to yeah. get your head around it. Yeah. You've got to get on board with it. Mm -hmm. You've got to be two feet in. And you've got to... There is deal no not. Yeah, deal there with is it. no option and, and there's not. right and wrong. Yeah. And the right thing is to Stick. step up. Always. Always. Stick by your child. Do the right thing by your child. Not you. Not the mum. Not no. the dad. Who cares the child. about us? You can give a child all the love in the world, but they'll still, no doubt, at some point say, this is the thing. why and, didn't he love me? And, why didn't she? Yeah. And this is no disrespect to Lauren because she's only so many years in or anyone in this situation. Mm. But I know you've said, I I hope my, or I won't let that happen to my kids. Well, I, don't think, I try. But I don't try. No, and never, this isn't yeah. a disrespectful. Mm. This is just a... It doesn't matter how much love a child has from their mum or their stepdad or whatever, mm. they will always question at some point why their biological parent didn't love them, didn't want them, or whatever the scenario. No, I think they will question in their head as in they think that they're not wanted or they think they're not loved. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, as a human being, we're kind of, especially in Western worlds, because we're so disassociated with our village. Like, you don't get this in the non-third world country or the third world countries. Yeah. Because in a village, they say it takes a village. That's a genuine village. Yeah, they village. all muck in, don't they? They all muck yeah. in. So you know your ancestry history because you, you're raised with your grandparents on both sides. You're ra like, And everybody chips in. There's no such thing as a deadbeat dad in the Amazon. Because yeah. everybody chips in. There's yeah. no option. It's well, just a Western thing, thing. What you've just said about grandparents... I think a lot of people go, oh, what about Kyle's parents? Did they? Yeah, they had a relationship with my kids. And I think a lot of people will probably be shocked to hear that because they're like, they just think that this whole family unit just didn't happen. And they did have a relationship. Fallout from what you've been through hasn't even tipped the iceberg yet. Mm -mm. Like you, you, the repercussions of what you've been through, I don't think have even started to scratch the surface. I think they're still buried so deep in you that it's, it's years before the the proper healing starts. Mm, probably. Yeah. Well, it's, and you start to heal and then something happens. Absolutely. A milestone happens. Yeah. Your child now wants to know about his dad. And yeah, yeah. Harley went through a phase of blaming me. Wow. And, you know, knowing he did and now, well, you know. Prepare me for this yeah, shit. Yeah, I was going to say she's taking <laughs> notes. I'm going to say he rebelled and went completely off hours around 13. What mm. did you do for my dad to not want us? What did... Wow. You know, but of course he wanted to blame someone, and I'm the closest. Of course. And the yeah, only it's one. Yeah. And but, it's like, awful. What, but how did, do you What did your mum say? Did your mum not say... Oh, God, yeah, my mum told him. My mum still to this day says, Nigel loved you, and I know he loves Harley. My mum still says it. Yeah. Um, she says he hasn't gone the right way about everything, obviously. No. But she says, you know, Harley looks the most like his dad. He is the most like his dad. And it's like looking in the mirror. Mm. Which, if I'm honest, I think that caused a lot of problems as well. The fact that 
Harley was so like his dad, mm. a lot of people didn't like that. Deja vu. What Kyra or geeks? <laughs> Both. I'd never seen a baby, and Kiki was. I looked at her, and I remember the first time I ever saw her, I was like, whoa! <laughs> I'm in the Matrix because that's car fucking. <laughs> yeah, in a pink baby car. Right? I was like, this is not normal. No. There but that's was not what it one was bit like. of you. Not one, it was. Yeah. I, I literally, I remember, like, shook her. Yeah. Being like, what? You could never <laughs> have hid that. I know. You could that's never. That's what I said to him. There's Same no as Harley. way you yeah. would have hid that. Like, literally, and now she's getting older. How much is she looking like Cairo? Oh yeah, definitely. Yes. You would not be able to tell me that that wasn't him, because every like I've never seen a child look so much like any other human. Not just you or him. Or, like I literally was like, that is a carbon copy, more than Cairo. Way I know more. it was so oh, yeah. weird. Yeah. So Cairo as a baby, yes, he looked like him, but not on the level or the scale of geeks. No way. It was it was mental. No. It was mental. Like the pictures when I look back, I'm like, yeah, gives me PTSD. But that's what I mean. You never would have got away with it. You could never. have said that anybody else was. You could have never mentioned Carl's name for the rest of your life, and one look at geeks, and everyone would have been like. No need oh, for every, a DNA. Babe, everyone knew. Yeah, I know. Like, it was knew, so, you know, no, I mean, everyone knew when they saw. They were oh, like, yeah. they are the spit of each other. And obviously, as she's grown up, and they just say, wow, she's really looking like Kai right now. And I'm like, thank God. I remember me and Harley visiting here. And when we got in the car, he went, well, that was like looking at Kyle. He actually said it. What, when, you, when he saw yeah. Keeks? Yeah. It was uncanny. Yeah, it was. Uncanny. See, it's funny because Kyle didn't think that. Kyle thought that she was a spit of Cairo. No, it, he, but he must have been like, surely how are you not looking in the mirror? Like you hold a baby up and you just see you. Like how can you not? Sometimes people don't see it themselves. Because we've and only ever seen ourselves in a mirror. Yeah, yeah. 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 some people don't. His yeah, parents exactly. didn't think. His parents thought that she looked like Cairo as well. Oh. No, how funny. Spit. But I mean, everyone else was. Yeah, it was I was yeah. shocked. <laughs> Do you think God does that on purpose? Yeah, it is a proven fact, isn't it, that they come out looking like the father mm. for the first like three months, so that the dad can bond. Yeah, like it's from like caveman. Yeah, yeah but not all babies do come out looking like the dad. A lot of them do. I mean, we've evolved since caveman days, so obviously yeah. that's not going to be right. Our podcast is proudly sponsored by Tooth Club, the celebrity dentist specialising in composite bonding, Invisalign, and implants. They offer monthly deals and you can spread the cost with monthly payments. With locations across Essex, Hertfordshire, Suffolk and Kent, they're easy to find. Check them out on Instagram at Tooth Club UK. I think one of the things how I feel is that I'm kind of micromanaged mm. through finances. So even with Cairo schooling or Keeks's nursery or whatever it is, I've still got to kind of not ask permission or such, but kind of, do you get, do you get yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You need sign off for things. It's, hard. it's not on you. Yeah, you have mm. to ask for things to be put in place. Like sometimes it might be better for women in these scenarios, certain scenarios, is to get a one off payment. Mm. Sometimes. Oh no, hundred yeah. percent clear cut. And like, you I, yeah. I would have loved that. And you deal with it's only, everything. Yeah. But I feel like only hindsight you know that. No, yeah. no, no, I, think no, a I lot asked. of women I asked. I did as well. well. I asked for clear cut. Clear cut, never speak, like, let's go. But when, what, before which court case? <laughs> when? Both. I think both. Oh, okay. I was called to be clear cut, done both. Because it's an upfront lump sum, yeah, you because, take less. Because also, you can never, until you live it, you don't know the financials that you're going to need later down the line. Yeah. So you mm -hmm. can predict for things, but there's Absolutely. always unpredicted things. This is the thing which happened with Cairo. Yeah, so you like, So many extra things yeah, added, and I was like... Don't I, think. No, and yeah. you were not kind of budgeted for, and you think, fuck. Well, that yeah. happened with me, as you mm. know. I never went back in 16 years for an extra penny. Mm. And I was advised, come back every three years, because circumstances change. Every so, um, as for Lauren, as for... A lot of women, you if you are have a child with a man that is in a good financial position, they have to put a roof over the. It's a schedule one, so head. I think let's just break it down. So a schedule yeah. one is when they obviously provide a house; it's in their name or it's under a trust. You can live in it. Usually a car. 
usually um it depends on your circumstances but you can get childcare then obviously your maintenance you can get you can go back for lump sums whenever reasonable lump sums whether that be aircon and astroturf or whether that be furnishing funds or whatever they may be mm. it could even be something like um i don't know say Cairo is really really into playing the piano and you need a lump sum for a grand piano. Yeah. It could be something like that, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, but obviously, you'd probably talk to them first. Anyway, so it's schedule one where you get legal advice. And so it's not just you plucking things out of thin air. It's what you're entitled to for your kids. Yeah. So go on. So you were... Uh... So just you saying that, Harley was very poorly with allergies. Mm. And we went back was to him. Know? <laughs> sorry, no, no, sorry, well, Dr. Arnold, sorry. Oh my God, sorry. I know that was. I just said that out loud, but I didn't realise. I'm so sorry. I, I'm so sorry. And that's the end of today's <laughs> show. Thank you, sorry. Lady Nardia. Jet seat is coming. Essex. Sorry, it was. You know what it's like. I just say that. I thought in my head, but did no, I just say so that out loud? Funny. I'm so sorry. Oh my. Imagine if people I've think. I'm, Look how red I've got. No, it doesn't matter. I'm so sorry. Don't go it red. But imagine out. if they think I'm one of their mums. That you know, make their kids ill. So that's attention. what I was thinking, Gypsy Lee Rose, whatever her name is, where she killed her mum because her mum was doing the God. Munchausen's. I haven't seen this. I have no idea oh, what you're talking God, about. how red I am. I'm so sorry. Like, honestly, that was... I no, mean, it was really funny. It's not. But I don't want anyone to think that I did do that because he genuinely... <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? Hold on a minute. <laughs> Pair of fucking bitches. <laughs> so that, sorry. No, oh my god, my god. Oh, no, that was Are really, burning? No, no it was really quick witted. I love it. <laughs> it's not funny. You mean it, don't no, you? I didn't. I said it in my head and I shouldn't have said it out loud. What the mm, fuck was I was thinking? He, oh, you weren't. That's the problem. Right, okay, focus. No, but he genuinely was allergic to which actually, Dr. Ahmed, if you're listening, my son was allergic to cow and gay. <laughs> So you um, were right. I was right. No, he did have allergies. Yeah. Really bad. And he had asthma. Really okay. bad asthma through... Look at Nardi. Sorry. Going. No, <laughs> but now like... The thing sorry, was about, I'm trying you know, to be serious, yeah. you poor can go... Harley. Poor Harley. <laughs> you know, you can go back for help with stuff. We were going to take him privately with his asthma and allergies because we're forever on a list mm. with the NHS. Nigel wouldn't help. I funded it all on my own. He didn't help. Uh, he refused your it. Your son's health. Yeah. I know that if it was anything to do with the kid's health, and I emailed the lawyer to say, this is what's happened. Unfortunately, this has happened. Rara, right, right, can Kai help? He, 99.9%, I'm pretty certain, wouldn't want to say 100, and put my life on it, but he would step up for the kids. Yeah. Well, you'd like to think all no, dads I, would, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Mm. No, I, I yeah. mean, I, I oh, no, 100%. completely believe you. But... You've got to be actually sick in the head, I'm yeah. sorry. So we didn't get any extra... After that, I never asked for anything else. Wow. Never that that done me. I never asked for anything else. He never paid for holidays, school uniform. I got my maintenance, which we've spoken yeah. about before. Because um, what you just said about the health, my my friend actually had to go back to court because her child was needing extra help with things, mm -hmm. educational thing and other things, do medical, and I think he then got ordered to do all the medical stuff. Yeah. So I can't believe. Well, I. Well, kind of can, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, can believe it. Yeah. And if I'm on a roll now, shall I tell you another head fart? Go on, then. I told you about when um, Harley was off the rails and my mum phoned Nigel yeah. and he flew over with his wife and gave yeah, Harley half an hour in Costa yeah. Coffee. That's another story. But then when <laughs> that it is was... That's catchphrase. Yeah. That's another story. That's another story. But Harley went to a school, it's called a unit, you know, for... Naughty kids. Mm. Anyway, the teachers are always saying to me, his problem is dad. He's crying out for dad. Mm. Is there any way we can get dad involved? Again, my mum liaised with Nigel and his wife and they flew over together to and were coming to the school to meet with the people at the school for the best way forward for Harley. Yeah. It was stipulated by that side, I must not be there. I must not be... At your kid's school? At my kid's school. I must not be in the room. So one of the teachers, one of the teachers blew smoke up Nigel's ass. She was like, absolutely, you know, if that's how you feel. But the actual lady that was working with Harley and his issues said, this is a disgrace. Mum's done it all. 
all of a sudden there's the biggest mm. meeting of this child's life <clears throat> moving forward and mum's not allowed to be there. But the head of that particular school, um, for some reason, went with Nigel. Was he a boxing fan? So, no, it was a lady. My mum was allowed to be there because I said, absolutely not. Are you putting my son yeah, yeah. in a room I'm with his dad, mind. his dad's wife, and a teacher he can't stand the sight of? Um, for the first time, he's seen his dad in, like, seven years. Is yeah. this a joke? So, yeah. mum's allowed to come. So, we go to the school that morning. Um, me and Harley are waiting in the back room. I'm waiting in the back room because, obviously, I'm not allowed in. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm being smuggled through. Nigel, my mum and Nigel's wife and the teacher are in the other room. They are all talking beforehand. They come to get Harley. Harley knows what's going on and the head teacher comes in and says, OK, Harley, will you join your mum, dad, um, your dad and your nan? And he went, absolutely not without my mum. My mum comes or no one comes. And I don't know where that could, because I was not happy, but I yeah, said, yeah. oh, you got, you've got Nan there, yeah, let's sort this yeah, out. Yeah. He would not go. They go back into the classroom to say, um, Harley's refusing to come unless Mum comes with him. I bet I, they thought you put him up to it. Oh, of, of course that would be said. But Harley will tell you, yeah. no yeah. way was I going in that room without my mum. And then, so we're all in there. We're all sitting there. Tears all round for everyone. It was very emotional. Um, but my point is, after that meeting, a week later, when Harley wasn't at the school any longer because they'd moved him, the idea was for him to go to a new school. Yeah. Um, Harley's friends messaged him on Facebook and said, oh, I met your dad today. He gave out the awards at our school, which was Harley's old school. So his dad went and gave awards out to Harley's friends without Harley knowing. Three minutes from where we live, Harley didn't even know his dad was in his school mm -hmm. and he's got people on Facebook saying, I met your dad today, he gave my award for football, for whatever it was, and that killed him. Yeah. Like, how do you not tell your own son you're going to his school to meet all his friends? Wow. Another head fuck. I don't know what's going through his head. Like, what was his end goal to just fuck up his kid as much as possible? You only He's think done to yourself, a good job. what is your end goal with this? I don't Any get, answers, anyone? I don't understand <laughs> it. I'm just like... I don't. I don't. You, your child's here. He's on this earth. What's your end goal now? Because mm. they're not going anywhere. Mm. So what's your end goal? And they don't deserve... No. Any of the shit you're putting them through. Any of the shit. They just don't deserve it. So... It's like torture. Yeah. It really it's is. Not, but, and it goes back to, I feel like they think it's torture for us, but it's not for us. It's for, for yeah, their children. Yeah, no torture for your child. But watching your child mm. in pain is torture. Is torture. Yeah, which is why I, I go back to the, when I was asking you about your situation, because I said, do you not think he kind of liked the fact that you felt... A certain uh, type of way. Yeah. Yeah, secretly. He gets to hurt you through Harley. Do you think I've never thought of it like that? If I'm I don't honest. know, if, I don't know if that's what he thought. I'm just saying, like, there's that, a chance. There's a chance, yeah, because it doesn't sound like a normal. There has to be some. It sounds fishy. Like, why would you? Why would you deliberately de deliberately do such horrible things and cause such carnage in somebody's life, especially an innocent person? If you if there wasn't some kind of malice, yeah, intent in it. Which makes me question, why are you so angry? Yeah. Like, you got what you wanted. Because well, that's not what they wanted. You got exactly. what you wanted. You, and, no, because what they wanted was, didn't your letter say? Basically, the letter said, didn't it? Um, you, you can't have what you want right now, but you, but you can if you just wait. If you just do what I say. Yeah, and if... I don't want this to end and I want this to... Con we we may not be able to have it all, but let's not end this. Like, that's mm. what he wanted. He wanted to keep you a secret, keep Harley a secret, have his cake and eat it. Oh, that letter pretty much... He said it. Yeah. He says it in the letter. And I've got messages where it's the same sort of yeah. vibe. Don't screw this up for us. 
Turn it back on you. Yeah, yeah. No, no, <laughs> no, no. You're us. right. I'm not gonna lie, and I don't even want to get upset, but that actually is proper tri- triggered triggered me. Yeah. That because like I re think back about messages, and I'm like, yeah, like it was all on me. They put it on like, you. Yeah. yeah. If you, you want this for this our up, child, yeah. if you whatever if you, way you want this to go. Yeah. If you don't do as I say. It's on your head, be it. Yeah. You and then you feel like the guilty Mm. party. You feel like yeah, yeah. Mm. Don't screw this up for us. Don't screw this up for you. You like? Like, No, it's you. You fuck. Yeah. 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 Hence why I don't trust anyone. (laughs) Hence why I'm still here, (laughs) rocking rocking. on a fucking chair at day, every day, just. (laughs) It's time for pick up yet. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly is. That's one thing that I like need to get my head out of is the constant questioning myself. Because like I know what happened and I just need to make sure I remember that and just keep keep it moving. Yeah. Keep it moving. Mm. The stagnantness. And oh, yeah. babe, when you have stagnantness, you have time to think, don't you? Mm-hmm. Those thoughts can be deep. Yeah, no one needs that sort of You know, activity. should I have done things differently? Would I have done things differently? What bits? Do you know, what, how would it have happened if I did this? And you could you could drive yourself crazy for ages. Yeah. But it's like girls on my Instagram, they'll say, you know, I dreaded saying to my daughter, you know, what our situation was. But now I say that not everyone can be a parent and some parents aren't equipped with the tools that you can have to be a parent. And unfortunately your father just doesn't have the tools to be a parent. But it's quite nice. I think ultimately as well, once you start lying and you get on that gerbil Mm. wheel and you can't, Mm. now you've lied about that, so now you've got to lie about that and it goes on and on and then you lie to your kids as well. I also think there's like a handbook that men give to each other because it's always the married men of like, I don't even like her, the wife. We don't have sex. We don't sleep in the same bedroom. Like yeah, there's, it's almost I hear like you. they share a secret handbook mm-hmm. because it's the same lines. Mm-hmm. We're just co-parenting. We're just co-parenting. We're just together for the kids, or mm-hmm. we're just together for show. Like there's, we don't actually talk or anything, and then always the wife gets pregnant, always, and it's like, and then it's the lies around like. It was my birthday, or we went on holiday. She put it on me. What am I supposed to do? Say no. Can't say no to my wife. <laughs> it's this, it's like a, a, a script that yeah. I feel like they just hand around to each other. And then it's your fault. And then it's always your fault. Always. always. Yeah. Yeah. You're such a slag. But you're a psycho. Like, mm. you're, why are you reading so much into it? Mm-hmm. I told you the story. Mm-hmm. If you choose mm. to believe it or not. Yeah. Those lines work. They appease the woman who is on the side. Mm. They appease the wife because they, you know what I mean? Like, they, they, the reason they do the same script is because that actually does work. What's crazy to me is that it's, it's always like a teamwork thing, isn't it? When I've read up on it, it's like pitting people against each other. Like, we're a team. We've got to do this for us. Absolutely. That sort of vibe. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. You felt that as well? Oh, a million percent. They gang up and then they paint their picture mm. yeah. to the world so that well, also, they look like... Like you said about they flew over. It's like... Harley didn't want to see some strange woman that he yeah. doesn't know to talk about going off the rails, being on drugs. Yeah. He wanted his dad. Yeah. But yet a woman turns up. Like Yeah, his dad should have had the balls enough to be like, yeah. again, stay, stay in the car or stay, like, be there for mm-hmm. me. But this is my son. I've got to handle this by myself. 100%. Like, just, and I, just this do makes it. me think about you know when, you know when couples split up like so often happens, and dad leaves, and then it's dad's turn to pick up mm. your daughter or your son, and they turn up with the new girlfriend. Mm. Your your mm. child wants you and your attention yes. for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For now, of course, it progresses. Mm. But I always question. Why they turn up with the new... Is it for you? Is it for the woman? I don't know, but it's just not right. Your kid Usu- wants to be your yeah, usually, sole attention. I would say usually it is the new partner wanting to come to set 
the tone that they're <laughs> yeah. now in the life. Right. And it's the and it's the the old partner maybe suggesting it to make the new partner not feel insecure. Feel comfortable. Uh-huh. Feel comfortable. But it comes always from a place of insecurity because mm. both of those people are insecure. The new partner and the old and partner. The old, yeah. Because you <clears throat> because it takes it also takes a lot of guts to turn up to the house and pick up your child by yourself. Like that, like that takes guts. It's not an easy thing. It, it's it can mm. be it can cause people lots of anxiety. They don't know how the kid's going to be. They don't know how you're going to be. Like that's an anxious thing. So having a support person there from their mind is like great. Yeah. They don't don't realize the damage that can be done because it is as simple as. Go pick up your child by yourself. Yes. Just go pick up your child by yourself. Give your child your 100% attention. Yeah, Yeah, like your daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's just for one car ride to get home and the partner is in the home, go pick up your child by yourself. Yeah. I know when Nigel started seeing Harley, when the second time you saw him to build a relationship, he did come on his own, to be fair. Okay, good. Um, I wasn't meant to be there. Mm, Standard. My mum or sister was, but... um, But, yeah, he did come on his own and he did build... Because I said before, Harley goes to his dad's house Mm. where there's loads of siblings Mm. and his wife. He needed to get to know dad first. Can I ask you a question? And I'll be fair, that was agreed. Okay, good. So I've got to be fair on that point. Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you a question with that? Had the wife supposedly ever called your son names? I'll tell you what did happen... Harley went with his dad and his dad's wife and their twins Mm. to um, I'm a Celeb Get Me Out of Here reunion. And um, obviously Harley is four days older than the twins, so I'm guessing they look like triplets. Mm. And after that, I was told that um, it was a really difficult day because Caroline didn't enjoy it. She was crying her eyes out because everyone kept saying how much Harley looked like his dad. And and Harley was really well behaved that day, probably because he was scared of his dad. Yeah. And I know his brother really played up and got in trouble. So I think Harley was a golden child mm. that day. And I think that was resented yeah. because um, Harley is the spit of his dad. And yeah. I'm sure... Mm. So in that way, I know it wasn't welcomed again. I don't think there was another family out in, put it that way. No, mm. so what were you... But it's important children no, spend time with yeah. their parents alone. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, because they've had little movie sessions together where, you know, his dad has introduced the lamb before time, is it, the dinosaur film? Yes, because I told you to watch yeah, that I as well. That was Harley's fave. Yeah, that's what he said it's was his rubbish. or something. It's no. the best. It is the best. Have you ever watched it? You've got to be growing up in our era, though, darling. It's, yeah, but wasn't it the young. best? Yeah. Yes, I can't no. watch it because I sob. Yeah, I can't and me. Watch like that. Really? The whole way through. Sob. Yeah, so I used to melt but my it heart does... to see them like cuddling, watching. It does teach kids a good lesson, learn before time. What was it teaching them? How to care and love. It is a really yeah, loving feel. How fucking isn't ironic. It? Yeah. You having a laugh? Well. <laughs> yeah. So thank you for tuning in to Your Sincerely Pod with me, Lauren Goodman. And me, Lisa Andrews. And me, <laughs> Nadia Essex. <laughs> Never again. Nadia. <laughs> it's okay. See you next week. <laughs> yeah, see, you next week. Yeah. <laughs> see you later, guys. Bye. <laughs> this podcast is sponsored by Timeless Moments. Timeless Moments is Portugal's top-rated, award-winning yacht charter company offering unforgettable experiences along the breathtaking Argarve coast and beyond. Whether you're looking for a luxurious day out at sea, a private event or a relaxing escape, our fleet of premium yachts and professional crew ensure every moment is exceptional. We specialise in creating personalised high-end experiences that are perfect for any occasion. Discover why we're the preferred choice for yacht charters in Portugal and start planning your next adventure with us at www.timelessmoments.pt